of a Siebel construct called as virtual business component VBC virtual business component so you basically make a component business component which is mapped to this database which, which is not actually in the, in the actual database it is related to some other database this is another default database. Uh, we, we don't say related, we say mapped. So this v VBC here, it will be a business component which will be mapped to this database. Making sense? This, if this thing is, if th so this, obviously there are base components which are mapped to the base tables of CO. So that's fine. Virtual business components are mapped to another external database. So this VBC functionality, you should at least know that it is possible and you know user is saying you know can we just you know pick the data from the other system and show it in the GUI. Yes, it's possible. Just create a business VBC. Similarly, like in one of my um, um, candidates project, um, like so in his project there is a there is a thing like plan the details of the what customer has bought, it should be shown here in a, an applet. They don't want to, you know, store the, the one option is, you know, they bring the data from here to here and then sync it every time, every day. Every day they bring new table data from here and every day whatever new data comes here, they populate it here, right? Instead of doing that, they're what they're doing is they're simply using VBC, right? So typically VBC is all the fields will be read only because why would you want to change the database of other system? I mean, typically that's, that's not a good idea. So when you are doing the design, you should make sure that the applet, but just for you, you make the applet, you make the applet, make read-only fields on it. Let's say you want to see five fields from there. Just make those five read-only fields in the applet. And then in the gap analysis, right, that it's going to be mapped to VPC. So gap is real high. It's like, we call it number one gap. We call it like a very high gap. So let's say, okay, it will be mapped onto the external database using VPC. Once you say that, your job is done. The question is, can one virtual business component be mapped to, you know, one table inside SQL database and one table outside? Actually, I'm not sure. It's a good question, though. Can you just, you know, do just some Googling and find it out? Other question. Other, just other thing is, this is one of the important integration technologies of SQL because you are integrating this system with this system. It's a very common requirement in all the systems that, you know, this applet or this page should show the data from some other system. And uh, other thing is, you know, there is a another concept like in seven point, I think seven point seven, seven point eight onwards, EBC, external business component. Never, never really hit that guy, so <laughs> I really don't know. But I think some, but it means probably, you know, this is what at high level, you know, it might mean. It doesn't mean I, I'm not sure. Really, and I'm going to go to Google to find out what it is, but. This GUI probably would be mapped to an external business component, right? Somewhere here, you can define a business component which would be outside SQL application. But what does it mean? I'm really not sure because if it's going to access, what what is what what does an external business component would mean in that case? I'm not sure. So newer and newer functionality is coming into SQL, and uh, you gotta be aware of all these things. And you know you should be able to read these and understand what they're talking about. Okay, just in contrast. EAM runs between database and database. Like here, EAM will run. Database will get stored here, and database will, okay. EAI, it runs at the business object layer level. Real, real time interfaces. First logic integration. It works at the business logic layer level. Like let's say user enters the data here. It will be captured here by the first logic. First, let's say this is first logic, okay. So it will go into from here data will not go into database. It will go to first logic first, like here. Then first logic will manipulate the data and find out whether it's matching with some other data or not. Then first logic will throw a message back here. That okay, it is matching with these two records. Then that message will be shown to the users here. Data till that point would have not hit the database. So that was integration is done at this level. So that's for first logic. Similarly for I think BNB integration as well. You know, data right from here goes. It's a real-time integration, so that's 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 definitely using like business object level, level integration. Um, so, but EAM works on this level. 
like data gets populated in the database and then in the night a batch load runs, right? So this whole thing really tells you the data was already stored in the SQL database, right? So it picks the data, EAM basically the batch load picks the data from here. Batch load will be here typically, somewhere here. It will pick the data from here and put it here. Okay? 